why reading the Bible faithfully matters. This podcast is a short promo for a program I'm going to be introducing next year. The program is called Reading the Bible Faithfully. And this promo is aimed at encouraging you to look out for the program when it starts. We say that scripture is the foundation and guide on which our faith and practice are based. At least, Baptists do and many other Christians do. At first, that idea seems straightforward and easy. And it's probably true that the core essential truths are clear in scripture. God is creator of the world and everything in it. God loves creation. Creation is broken by human sinfulness. Human effort can't mend this brokenness. And that barely takes us out of Genesis. Though that last one runs through the whole of the Bible. God in Jesus Christ reconciles the world to himself. We should love God. We should love others. Now of course some people deny that even these things are clear. But if we accept such a short outline, not long after we get beyond it we start to run into difficulty. Reading the Bible simply and taking what it says as straightforward literal truth as people often claim to just isn't always possible. Think about it. Scripture often talks in pictures and pictures need interpreting. What does it mean to say that God is king? Does it just mean the same as God rules? Or does it mean more than that? If more, what? What does it mean to say that God is father? We certainly don't mean it literally. God did not impregnate your mother. What does it mean to say that God's a rock? Actually, scholars point out that all language is in some sense metaphorical. All language is in some sense picture language and needs interpreting. And then, there are many issues which the writers of the Bible didn't face, but we do. How much TV should we watch? What does the Bible say? Are certain computer games anti-Christian? What do you read in scripture? What about healing crystals? There's nothing about any of those topics in scripture directly. To answer any of them, we have to interpret and we have to move beyond scripture. But perhaps, we hope, finding in scripture the principles that enable us to answer those questions. There's a clue we'll come back to. Thirdly, there are huge differences between our situation and the Bible writer's situation and sometimes these differences matter. For example, and most strikingly, the difference between us and the writers of the Old Testament that they were under the Old Covenant and we're under the New means that the Old Testament laws don't apply to us directly. But of course, Jesus said that those Old Testament laws were not abolished but fulfilled in him. Paul suggests that slaves should obey their masters and says nothing about abolishing slavery. Does that mean that we should stop objecting to slavery today? The difference between Paul's situation and ours is really important. So, the course that I'm promoting in this podcast will give you some really vital things. It will give you a simple set of five steps that will allow you to do one or two important things that will allow you to make sense of almost any Bible passage. I was going to say any but it probably won't allow you to make sense of every Bible passage. It certainly won't without help but then we can't do anything important without help. It will also allow you and this will be of great use for the Bible passages where it doesn't allow you to make sense of them directly but you need the help of others to check that others meanings really do come from the Bible. How do you know that what something says they find in the Bible is really there? I'll give you the tools. It will also enable you to explain why you think that the Bible means what you say it does so that other people can understand what you're saying and of course that means it will let others check up on you. Some really important things that this five steps will give you. But beyond the five steps reading the Bible faithfully will also give you a set of ideas and techniques that among them will help you to use the five steps so that you read scripture better and more productively and more easily but they'll also encourage you to read the Bible itself more if they don't I'll have failed
and they'll also encourage you to go on learning more beyond reading the Bible faithfully and so in that process to learn to read the Bible better and to understand what better means and lastly this set of ideas and techniques will sharpen how you read particularly scripture but perhaps not only scripture that's why reading the Bible faithfully matters and why you should watch out for it at the beginning of next year God bless